All right, greetings everyone. How y'all doing today? All right, it's Anthony coming to you live today from the shrine. I want to take some time out so I can give some good information that I think is very relevant and helpful to people on their spiritual journey. Um, particularly, these are my experiences that I'm going through, and I love sharing with people about the things that I'm going through, and I love when people share their spiritual testimonies and awakening stories with me as well. For all in all, that's what the community is for, a group of spiritual scientists, everybody's showing and teaching them what they can do. So this particular video is going to be about spiritual consulting and animal totems, particularly the turtle um, in this video. All right, as you see right here, we have live turtle in effect. Man, and what I tell you, the story on this little fella. <laughs> Very powerful study. He just came in today. Um, so we're going to get into that. So basically, um, you know, I want to talk about him and today's testimony. And as far as, man, the synchronicities that line up in the universe, y'all. I mean, it is amazing what we can and cannot do. All right. So um, let's get into it. Nature, nature totems, animal totems are expressions of the creative mind of the universe. All right. Any animal, any any being on the planet in this planet and hereafter are expressive mind frames of the universe, thought forms of the universe. So whether it's a turtle or any animal all speak to the divine mind that created all things, right? Even though we are the highest form of creation, being the human, we have deep in our subconscious minds, these animals represent what's deep inside us in the external viewpoint. So using these animal totems and the harnessing the energy from them, learning their story that they bring here to this planet is very, very useful. And we should learn that. Think about how many different beings it is just on planet Earth. I mean, come on. Think about the beings that has been extinct. Think about the beings that are, are, are we all know now. And think about all the beings that are evolving and that we're just learning about. I mean, so that's powerful stuff that when you really sit back and think, well, wow, we're, something is still creating all these things. You know, we are tracking it, right? All right. So, I just wanted to talk about that. Now, now, okay, let's get into the story of this turtle. This morning, <laughs> I found this turtle right here in the yard on the compound. You know, we on six acres of land here in Atlanta. And it was so deep because, first of all, I had some bad news last night. I found out a about a friend of mine transitioning, uh, rest in peace. Then I get into all these channels, and it was it was particularly dealing with that and and that compound. So it was basically saying, okay, fill this hole up uh, with certain X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, and it was just basically giving me a description uh, about basically giving me a description about what's going on on here on the compound far as the nature and where I'm living at. Profound stuff. I mean, we've been seeing all type of stuff. Deers and we got a snake roaming around so I got to fill those holes up so it won't be, you know, getting away with the children or anything like when we're out there. And we have a lot of, um, you know, free range birds that live out here and they, you know, they come eat the food from the offerings and things like that. So it was powerful. So as that moment, as I was just recapping on that dream, going to feed the birds, I see this turtle. I was like, oh, snap. Ain't this got to be. You know, now, mind you, I love turtles. I mean, I have always have learned totems. You see, I consider it one of my animal totems. So for me to see it was so profound because I'm like, yo, this is synchronicity. You know something is speaking to you, especially animal totems, when it's out of place. It's in the right place, but it's out of place. You know what I'm talking about? So I was like, yo, I seen that this morning. I was like, oh, snap, you coming with me. You know, we already got two totals here on land. So basically he went with the rest of them. But we'll be, um, 
you know, keeping them around for some time now. So, you know, it, it, it's just so deep. But even on a little deeper side, to let you guys know some more testimonies I've been going through, is probably about this year, probably about what, maybe four months now, probably, maybe three, four months now, I had a real powerful vision. And basically the spirit of, I had a dream about the spirit of the turtle. And I was taking the piece, the turtle shell, and doing divination with it. Now, if y'all seen some of my videos, y'all know what divination is by now. And you should, some people know, been known about it in general. If not, go back and check it out by performing divination with the turtles. So I was like, oh, snap. This is some real stuff. I mean, it was one of them, them visions where you know it was like, do something about it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, literally each piece of the shell was coming off like with a string of energy and going like up and down, up and down like in a musical orchestra. And I was dividing with it. So I was receiving a transmission from myself and from the astral realm and subconsciously, right, about a power that you can use with this turtle. Come to find out, Man, this thing is an actual full entire system of divination with the turtle shells. Man, I saw this. I about, I about passed out just looking at that. I was like, oh my God, I was blown away. Because I knew you could do divination with animals, you know, via be dead or alive. But I didn't know it was a full system dedicated to, you see, the, um, the turtle, what they call oracle bones. Right, a little more new new word, you know, oracle bones, and I'm going to get to the bottom of some more ancient names. But I did figure out that it pre it, it, it kind of comes before the I Ching is right, really associated heavy with the Chinese Asian culture, you know. But it's really, I mean, it was so heavy because that's what the most information you get on the turtle, as far as my um, current research. You know, coming out of a lot of the, the like I said, the Asian and Chinese culture. But it was mostly on because they had a lot of people that, you know, praise the turtle. Because the turtle, the dragon, um, the tiger, you see, were um, some of the most premier um, cultures in China, even to this day. It's one more, um, a, a, some bird that's just real, you know, really popular with them. So they have a lot of information on it. But getting back to the to the meat is basically the fact that I had this dream that you can use a whole nother system. So that's when I started getting heavy into getting those bones right here, as you see, which have different bones, ox bones, and cat bones, um, turkey bone, lamb bone, guinea bone, chicken bone. I think I'm missing a pigeon. I got to do another pigeon. Ram, goat. You see, and it'll be getting more because of the vision that I had. I knew beyond the shadow of a doubt that it was some power with this thing and it was a turtle so i already lined up with my totem right so long story short it's a whole system on there i'll probably do a, more on that later on and i'm still in a heavy form of research with it so the very fact that it came to me i'm jumping on it that's what we're supposed to do you know we get these divine messages we act on it all right so Another big dream I had about this year that a group of turtle entities came to me it was basically like, man, we want some recognition and we want some food. I was like, oh, snap. <laughs> okay, y'all want to be known and y'all want to be fed. Okay, cool. Okay. So I um, I was like, I took that. I was like, okay, how do I want to feel? Boom. I already know what to do. I start, I'm going to start with learning about the energy that's going on, feeding it mentally, as far as my research and development, and I went outside and fed them two turtles even more, and they was grubbing. You see, so just feeding it from different angles. Some very powerful stuff, y'all. So I just want y'all to know, like, man, synchronicity is everything. You know, it's a, even a science to spiritually attract animals that you want to come into your life. And it is just powerful that we have the ability to do these things. You can take visualizations to attract animals or certain things that they eat to attract the animals you know calling on the spirit of that to see the certain animals is let you know that nature is speaking to you you know also when i performed the divination today itself it actually talked about when i did 
the E5 cast with the cowrie shells, it actually talked about the sacred turtle and how it's being used as a source of honor. I was like, oh, snap, man. This is too much. You know, this is real. Synchronicities in all charts and calendars. You see, that's what you're looking for. All right. Um, any more points? Um, basically, it's so deep because it's like when you're awake, you're thinking about your dream. And when you're dreaming, you're thinking about your awakened state. You know what I'm saying? So it's deep. So I kind of was like, yo, it's like four M's. Mind, mythology, medicine, and magic. Because your mind is all. Your, ma your mind knows all things infinitely. So knowing things in your mind in the holographic universe is all. I am that I am, right? So you add that with the mythology and the medicine. Why? Because the mythology is going to break down the, the, the deep science of the stories of the different cultures about how the, it talks about the turtle being so strong in all these different cultures. You go to the Buddhist culture, <clears throat> the Buddhist faith. It has science in there. You go down to, to Africa. They got the turtle deities there. African people statues with people sitting on on the turtle like yoga style. You know, you go to the, age, like I said, Asian and China culture. They got turtles in almost a lot of their buildings. You got people using the turtles for burial sites. For, for, so for their ancestral grove or for their passing groans for the community cemeteries because it's strong life. You go to, let's say, uh, the Indian or Hindu faith, right? They have the world, the, tur the world turtle. When they have a story about the turtle, is actually, it's four elephants actually standing on the turtle's back. And then the actual world is on the four turtles um excuse me on the four ele elephants back so that just shows you we know like yeah an elephant can crush a turtle it's so big but it's the symbology and the story and synchronicity of how strong spiritually this turtle is you know it's a it's a lot more powerful you see what i'm saying it's representing you and how strong you can be you know also in um in other faiths you have different cultures it's really that main story different different people or animals objects on the turtle's back you see i mean different obelisks i mean you go around everywhere i'm seeing it left and right you can just google and i encourage you after this video google or um, turtle divination oracle bones google the world turtle google turtle island and talk to see the visions of how you know here in um america north america atlanta whatever they talk about how this is Turtle Island, how the world is actually on the turtle's back. I may be looking at cartoons and seeing the same mythology. So I'm like, oh, snap, this story is repeated over and over and over again. So what is that telling you? How can you use this turtle spiritually to, sh to strengthen you? How can you use the, the, sh the shell for protection? You know, how? I mean, because look how hard... The back is. Look look what it does. You see what I'm saying? You get right in there. I miss some powerful stuff. You see, so man, nature hears us in the responses. So through the once you know the mythology, now you can get the medicine from the mythology. You see what I'm saying? Why? Because it's all type of stories and you can graph a ritual right out of that mythology from whatever angle you coming with, working with the animal totems, particularly these turtles, this session, and grab a whole entire ritual out of this, like I'm doing here now today. And it's a continuous process and thing. You see what I'm saying, people? I mean, this is some good stuff, y'all. You know, we gotta amplify even the small things that seem that seem deep and significant for us. You know, not all the time is 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 a you know you you walking on the moon is. It's simple, deep, profound things that really speak to you and let you know that the universe hears your call. Ashe. Okay, so you can pull the medicine from the mythology. We'll be able to get into that. And actually, once you create, put the, the mythology and the medicine together, that's how you get your magic. So mind, mythology, medicine, and magic. Woo-wee!
you see so make sure you inbox me and let me know whatever spiritual work you're trying to do we can get it done there's nothing <laughs> that can't be done spiritually in this world of course please don't inbox me about anything silly of course let's be realists and let's be alchemists and occultists about the sciences and the things that we're doing and no we have remedies we have solutions we have angles we got magic y'all don't get it twisted i mean <laughs> we can go on and on you feel me so let's get it let's go people let's get this let's get, let's get this knowledge up you see what i'm saying so going into this turtle business it is so powerful i mean <laughs> even right now my son you know they just love the ninja turtle series and not you know our, our nephews and stuff it's some powerful energy you know we, they, they love the animals now we got more turtle pets for when when the children are here and they, and they can play and they can learn about nature firsthand here on the compound all right so those are some of the main key points I want to break down. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, please consult me about your oracle um, nature readings. Let me know about if you want to know what your animal totem is. Let me know. You know, I have a whole team set up for that. Me and my network, we're here to service you. Uh, you can get, if you need medicine, if you already know your animal totem and you need medicine for it, then inbox me, call me, let me know as well. We can get you some more medicine for your totems. If you need jewelry, if you need, you know, healing tinctures. I mean, you need protection. You need whatever. Let me know. For example, this turtle. The turtle is associated with time. So you know that when you do it with the turtle, that you, you can be dealing with the science of the law of time. So, for example, some, probably, what, some years ago, I did a ritual with Ogun when I gave... Ogun, a live turtle. You see what I'm saying? And it helped set my time back in order because I had stepped out of my time frequency and I did a ritual to actually perform thing with the head of my elder and got my time back on, on chart. And so I can build my life smoothly, making each step calculated with wisdom. You see what I'm saying? Powerful stuff, people. Um, turtles are also known for stability, you know, because they're strong in what they do. They have a sense of direction and they know where they want to go. You see what I'm saying? They're timekeepers. They're protection deities. Also, for dealing with time, you're going to be dealing directly with immortality, followed by fertility. I mean, so it goes on and on and on about what we can do with these sciences. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, let's get it, y'all. Don't don't be ashamed. Don't be fearful of what you can do. Just know you are the greatest you that you can be. And we're always working on activating our higher selves. You see? So, let's just continue to do that, y'all. We Let's work together. You know, each one teach one. Let's grow. All bring things to the form. And let's see how we can alch alchemically transform our states from where we don't want to be to where we want to be. All right, so I love y'all um, and I share.